What's up guys? Welcome back to Lake Branch Farm. Well, today's finally come for us to get the rest of the plants out of this tunnel and get prepared to put in our fall tomatoes. Uh, you can see we already started on the peppers and these tomatoes pulling the trusses out. I basically come down here this morning and picked everything off of them and got a head start on me. And then when I got here, I pulled the trellis lines and started pulling the post up. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the rest of the, uh, the plants out of here. We'll get all the weeds out, then we'll go through and we'll pull the T-post, clean everything up, pull back the drip tape, go ahead and recultivate these beds, re-amend them, and maybe put down some more compost. Um, I've been having trouble getting to the place that I get my compost from before they close every afternoon. So, I mean, that's gonna be up in the air for right now. Um, if it looks okay, we may just go ahead and amend what we got and plant directly into that. But it's been pretty productive around here the past couple of days. We did manage to get all of the Brussels sprouts planted in the weed mat over here. You can see I got the irrigation running on it right now. And we have the cabbage left to put into this garden. So what we're gonna do is go down there and pull the rest of this stuff up. And we're gonna leave these cucumbers in here for right now. But I got a little bit of an issue with pig weed in here and I'm looking for some of it right here. That uh, we wanna make sure that we get out of here because this stuff, I don't know if y'all ever fought pigweed before, but man, I'm gonna tell you what, when that stuff gets started, man, it's hard to get rid of. Some more of it right there. But yeah, we're gonna go through here and pull all this up. I'm gonna take this and dump the tractor right quick and then come back and try to load all these tomatoes up. All right, guys, so we got all the tomatoes out of that row, and I'm getting ready to start weeding on these uh, these pepper rows to get all these weeds out. But I run into a small snag. So as I was cleaning this row out here, I got to noticing some little critters, and I'll give you a shot of one. And to see these guys in your garden is not a good thing. To see these guys, period, is not a good thing um, because they are so hard to get rid of. But if you see those... Some of you guys know what that is, but that is an army worm. And over the past month or so, we've had major problems with them in the south, um, especially up towards some of the golf courses up in Southern Pines. They have just literally been uh, fighting these dudes to keep the grass green, just to keep the grass alive. They are, I don't know, one of the, it seems like they move so fast. When they get somewhere, man, it's just no time and it's bare, there's nothing. I mean, everything's dead. And I'm surprised these tomatoes stayed as green as they did for so long, knowing that that was in here. What we definitely don't want to do is to get these beds ready to plant these young tomato plants, all these guys here, just to have the armor worms eat them. We don't want to do that. So, new plant. So I'm gonna clean all this up. I'm gonna go ahead and cultivate it. Get ready to lay down new compost but before i do i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna spray every one of these beds with a healthy dose 
a BT and I can see one of these dudes crawling from here. That is an adolescent army worm. Uh, we're gonna pick them up. I've been putting them in a bucket and I'm gonna dispose of them here shortly, but I'm curious to see how many's in here. I mean, I know obviously I've, I haven't seen all of them. They're probably hanging in the bushes over there, but um, all this bucket here is nothing but tomatoes. Well, tomatoes and weeds. And I was a little, it was a little curious because I kept seeing the pigweed, but the leaves would be gone off of it. And I guess that's what they were eating on. I'm not sure. Um, that and tomatoes because every tomato laying on the ground in here has a hole in it. And either that or another worm. But I haven't seen any hornworms. I haven't seen any of those guys. So, got that tomato there. Yeah, that's worm damage. So, all I can guess is that the army worms did that too. But So, we're going to go through and we're going to clean all the weeds out of it. We'll get the rest of the weeds out of it. You know, all these guys here. And, you know, some of these weeds have done went to seed. You can see that Bermuda grass seed. So, we're probably going to have an issue with weeds that we're going to have to contend with. But, the worst case scenario, um, once I get the be beds cultivated, I can come back in and irrigate everything really good and either tarp it or just let it sit and leave the sprinklers on so the weeds will go ahead and pop up and then I can come through and flame weed it. So that's another way that we can take care of them and kind of keep the beds weed free. Because you got to remember, this tunnel here is going to be heated throughout the winter. So um, the weeds will be able to survive if they get a foothold, you know, before we have a chance to pull them. So, you know, that's something we don't want to fight all winter long is weeds. You know, we fought them all summer, all spring, all summer. We don't want to fight them in the, in the wintertime too. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these weeds out of this bed and probably pull the drip tape back, rake everything out, get it as clean as I can by hand and then see about cultivating. And I'll give you guys a shot of that once we get that far. And once we get ready to start spraying a BT on it. All right guys, so we're done with that for a little Got all the rows cleaned out, everything's picked up. There's still a little bit here and there, but what I'm getting ready to do is mix up this BT and spray both of these beds. I took the hand cultivator and went down through there and kind of scratched it back. But uh, we're gonna wind up remulching both of these rows anyway, so I'm probably just gonna spray them real good and then let them sit until I get the mulch. But I'm gonna get ready to get started working on this heater here in just a little bit, so let me go ahead and get these guys sprayed. All right guys, so I'm gonna be using my backpack sprayer here and this is what we're using, is BT basically. And I usually mix it up at four ounces per gallon. And the little cup that comes over the cover that comes over the top is actually a measuring tool. You can measure four ounces out, put it in a sprayer. And that's a two gallon sprayer, so we're gonna mix up double batches. All we gotta do is add some water. All right, so we got that spray, got it all the way across the greenhouse, all the way back this way. So everything is kind of sitting in a little layer of BT. And the way it was explained to me, BT works pretty good on your uh, worms, moths, anything that doesn't have a hard outer shell, like beetles and stuff like that. It won't work too well on those, but as far as worms, caterpillars, you know, cabbage moths, stuff like that, it works pretty good on. And, you know, it's, uh, it's smelling off in here, I can tell. So I'm fixing to get out of here and let this stew for the rest of the day and uh get rid of these boogers so yeah we're gonna let that sit for two or three days i'm gonna try to get my hands on some mulch and when we do we'll be putting these guys here in the ground and i know they all didn't germinate but i got 550 cell trays so that will be 250 plants that'd be enough to do all of these rows but i'm only going to worry about these four and i'm gonna let this kind of ride because these cucumbers i'm really not impressed with um they are showing signs that they're dampening off um they're rotting at the root so you know i don't know what to think up to this point i mean they got cucumbers on them you can see 
I mean, they're putting on cucumber, but it's just for no reason, you would see this, and you would see like that. And I don't know, that's either root rot or it's showing signs of dampening off. And I don't know, you know, which of the two or why, because it's not what you would consider damp. But, you know, I'm about done with cucumbers for the year anyway. Um, tomatoes, yeah, I could get rid of cucumbers. I don't think I would get enough to make a big difference. So, you know, they may stay, they may go. I don't know yet. I got plenty of other stuff that I could put in here if I need something. You know urgently to put in here i got plenty of stuff out here all right so i think this is where we're going to wrap this up guys but don't miss the next video because we will either be on working on this heater because i'm getting ready to go see if i can find some unistrut now to put it up with we're either going to be working on the heater in this big high tunnel or we're going to finish the railings on this one i started on this late yesterday evening and i got kind of hung up because if you look you see how wavy it is so I'm having to adjust the bows as I go. Man, it's pretty time consuming. So um, we'll either be working on this, trying to get an end wall put together, or we'll be hanging that heater up in there in the next video, guys. So as always, if you have not subscribed to our channel, reach over here in this right-hand corner and click that subscribe button. As always, guys, we appreciate you stopping by. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.